So we do have a player coming. Oh, Juwan. Yeah, I'm going to let me put his card out here first, coach. Okay, we are ready to begin our news conference with the University of Houston, head coach Kelvin Sampson. His student athlete will be Jawan Roberts, who should be here shortly. So we will go to questions for Coach Sampson. Who wants to go first? I think here on the right side on uh, the inside aisle. Uh, coach, can you uh, specify what Jamal's injury was and two, uh, what his, his absence meant to your team ultimately? Um, uh, grade four sprain. He's probably going to be out four to six weeks. Um, that was uh, really tough, really tough locker room at halftime. Um, but it didn't, it didn't take a lot to convince those kids that we could still win. That's just kind of what we've done all year. Um, you know, we've dealt with this all year. <clears throat> but as far as answering your question, what did it mean ultimately? Uh, he's first team All-American. He's a Big 12 player of the year. Um, he's a Big 12 defensive player of the year. He's the heart and soul of this team. Um, I doubt, I doubt any team in America has uh, maybe Edie from Purdue that means as much to their team as Jamal would mean to this team. There's just not another Jamal. Uh, I mean, he was the best player on the floor tonight. He's been the best player on the floor every game we played this year, except a few. Um, you know, we got a one seed because of uh, his leadership, his toughness, his ability to make everybody better. Um, we, didn't, we didn't have another, you don't have another Jamal. You say, well, who's your point guard to replace Jamal? We don't have a point guard to replace Jamal. <laughs> those, guys, those guys are, uh, you know, it's just, we just, we've had guys to go in and rest him, but get him back in. Um, but you know, sometimes that's just God's work. It was, this, it just wasn't our time. Um, I couldn't be more proud of our team though. You know, um, um, we, we're still in a position to win the game. We held that team to 54 points. Um, I mean, I, second chance points, they were plus two. Uh, points off turnovers were plus five. Uh, fast break points, they had none. Uh, we had two. Um, you know, we had some plays that I wish we would have made that we certainly could have made. But we were in a position to win the game without Jamal. Obviously, with Jamal, it's a totally different story. But that's neither here nor there, is it? So, but proud of my kids. Resilient, tough, just like they've been all year. Um, my disappointment came in not not just in losing, but not being able to coach them tomorrow. I love coaching this team. I really did. Just, this is an unbelievable group of young men. OK, we are now joined by uh, Juwan Roberts. Uh, why don't we um, move from coach to Juwan, and then we'll come back for coach in a bit. So questions now for our student athlete. And I think we have one right here toward the back on Juwan's right. Ishmo Johnson, Dave Campbells, Juwan. You know, when Jamal goes out, Coach yesterday was talking about your leadership and how you two were kind of the pillars of this culture. You know, when you see him go out, what goes through your mind and how do you kind of proceed through the game? Um, just, you know, try to be the voice of the team. You know, uh, he's the head of the snake. You know, he's a leader. Um, when he goes, we goes. And, um, you know, my job when he's on and off the court is still lead by example. 
you know, and just try to take everybody else under my wing and just try to be a leader that I am. Um, you know, when he went down, you know, it, it was hard to see, but, you know, we got confidence in each other, you know, that we're going to stay together, you know, and play for him. Um, it happened to me when I uh, played against Texas Tech, and I uh, went down pretty hard. And, you know, they all came together and said, we're going to do this for Juan. So it just, the way I look at it, this is just deeper than basketball. And, um, Um, you know, it wasn't the outcome, you know, that we wanted, but I don't think nobody quit. You know, I don't think nobody gave up. You know, um, everybody just kept fighting. Uh, you look up, we down one, you know, we down two, down three. It wasn't like it was a 15-point lead and we just quit. So, you know, definitely proud of the guys, you know, and not giving up, you know, knowing we didn't have our lead on the floor, but just, you know, trusting each other. But, um. It wasn't an outcome that we wanted. Okay, straight ahead. Uh, Jawan, Tim Kalish on Dallas Morning News. It was 8-3 to three at the first time out, and you had all the points. I think Francis had a basket. But all the points right inside. You're killing them inside. Obviously, the game changed for a number of reasons, but what did they do to, to make the physical battle more even as the game went on? Because it looked like you had control early. Foul trouble. Yeah, yeah just foul trouble. Um, just, you know, some fouls that was, you know, pointless. You know, end of the shot clock fouls, uh, reaching fouls. Just did, did a little discipline areas um, that we did. Um, but I, I would say that was the main part, just not being a discipline, but just, you know, silly fouls. Okay, in the middle here on the left. Sydney Staples, D210 Sports. Juwan, what emotions are running through your head right now? Um, you know, one, we lost, um, two, um, we don't have any practice tomorrow. You know, we don't have any more film sessions. Um, we don't have any wake up calls anymore. You know, the season is over with, you know, we started this back in June and we always had one goal just to get to the national championship and, um, this is really the, you know, all the emotions that's going through, just not being able to be with these group of guys again. Um, and I love every single one of them. You know, they real brothers to me. You know, we never go a day without talking to each other. Um, we always see each other every day. Just the bond that we have um, with each other. And it's, it's a real special group, you know, especially with all the adversity that we've been a part of. Um, Injuries, uh, you know, Terrence being out, and you know, just just the just the journey that we've been on. You know, a couple of days ago, um, JoJo, the freshman, I told him, um, "You didn't think you was going to be on the Sweet 16 team your first year, and you know, just all the stuff that you've been through, surgery, um, it's, it's just all part of the process, you know." And I try to tell the guys like. You know, you know, be be sad that we lost, but you know, um, yeah, that's that's the main thing. Just not being able to practice with these guys again. Anything else for Juwan before we let him go back to the locker room? Juwan, no more questions for you. Thanks so much for coming, and congratulations on a really a terrific season. Thank so you. thank you so much. We will go back to questions uh, for Coach. Okay, right here on the left. Hi, Coach. Again, Sydney Staples, D210 Sports. Would you have done anything differently looking back on this season? Um. I don't know. Um, it's probably not the time to ask that right now. Question now on the right side. Ishmael Johnson, Dave Campbell's. Um, same thing I asked to Jawan. You know, yesterday you talked about him being 
one of kind of the unsung leaders along with Jamal, who kind of gets all the national plaudits, of course. But, you know, what did you see from him tonight when, you know, Jamal went down and you needed somebody to step up on both ends, really? Well, we, I mean, we had a game plan going in um, that when the ball got reversed and we set those step-up screens that they'd switch. And then Juan would just get it down and make the right read. You know, if they came and doubled, move it, move it, and we were going to get a shot on the other side of the floor. If they didn't come, just play one-on-one. -on -one. They didn't come, so we play one-on-one, -on -one, and he was scoring at will. But then uh, he got a little bit too aggressive on a, on a uh, back down, and, you know, uh, the kid, um, you know, he did the right thing. I mean, Juan shouldn't have given that little extra nudge, but you're taught to flop, you know. He did what he was supposed to do, and the call went against. Problem was when he got that was his second foul. And you know, you said what changed? Well, when he's on the bench, he can't score inside anymore. So that, that's what changed. You say, well, how did they even it out? There was no evening out. He wasn't in the game. So when he's not in the game, that's you know we're already already down JoJo. So uh, that wasn't a game that I could put um, the other freshman in. Said lot. That's. It wasn't fair to him. wasn't fair to our team either. But um, Jay Wan's a, he's a wonderful young man. He really is. He's just a great, great, great human being. Um, you know, he's, he's, um, uh, Jamal was the heartbeat of this uh, team, but in a lot of ways, um, the soul of this team was uh, Jay Wan, you know. He, he had a tremendous year. Second team all-conference, Big 12. Um, you know, because of our limitations <clears throat> with the other injuries, we just couldn't afford him to get his second foul tonight. You know, but even that, I thought this was a game we could win. You know, but uh, without Juan or Jamal, it'd be difficult. We still have a chance. But, you know, with Jamal and with Jay Wan, you know, obviously, Okay, straight ahead now. Uh, yeah, Calvin, Tim Callis, Dallas Morning News. I don't know if this even matters, but does it feel kind of anticlimactic? You had a great team, obviously, a number one ranked team. You want to see if it can win a championship or what it's going to take to beat this team. And ultimately, Shed misses 26 minutes. What's the question? Does it feel anticlimactic? Well, it doesn't feel like a fair fight, you know. You'd have to take maybe two of theirs to equal one of Jamal. That's, that's how good he was. And he's a first-team All-American. You don't have another one of those. You don't have the best defensive player in the Big 12. You don't have a guy that made all the big shots at the end. Uh, I thought our kids battled. Think about it. We had the ball a couple of times to take the lead um, late in the game. So it's not like we lost Jamal, okay, the game was lost. No, we still bowed him, but that's our identity. It's our culture. It's who we are. But um, we, felt, we felt like we had a, a good enough team to get to uh, Arizona. Um, it was unfortunate that that team wasn't able to stay together. Okay, we'll take one last question for Coach Sampson here on the right. Uh, Coach, do you think if Jamal's in the game, you win? I'm not going to answer that. Okay, so you've been through this enough. You've had a great season, Sweet 16, 30-plus wins, all that stuff. Do you feel like you had a great year? Obviously. Okay, Coach, thank you so much. Again, the press conference schedule.